you have your answer for me? We want to ask something first. You're asking us to fight an entire planet. How exactly do you expect us to do that? You must have something up your sleeve, or else you wouldn't put us up to it. The Great Astral Spirit is an immense being, but its actual will does not run throughout its entire body. Rather, its will is derived from the core, which supports the rest of the body, and is where its strength is most densely concentrated. Therefore, if you destroy the core, the Great Spirit shall become unable to maintain sentience, and return to being ordinary astral energy. And how are we supposed to destroy that core? By using the Renus Alma. <sighs> you will also need the assistance of both the Sovereign and the Maiden. They are our best tools for suppressing and controlling astral energy. Using their powers, the Maiden shall seal the great astral spirit within her body, and the Sovereign shall wield the power of the Renus Alma to destroy it. Hold on. That sounds a lot like what Xion described before. Yeah, killing herself to take out the thorns with her. She was actually right all along. By my calculations, your powers combined should be sufficient to destroy the great astral spirit and disperse its energy widely enough to make it difficult to reform. What will happen to the Maiden once we manage to beat the great astral spirit? Any matter contained within the field of destruction shall be erased. So it really will kill me. This method is the most simple one available to destroy the great spirit and is therefore our most reliable option. What are our other options? There is little reason to consider alternative courses of action when the most optimal among them is so clear. You don't get it. I promised Xion that she wouldn't die, that we'd save the world without needing to sacrifice her. We didn't fight this whole time just to give up on her at the very end. If there's any other way to take out the Great Spirit, I want to hear it! This plan shall lead to the fewest losses in preserving your world. Abandoning it is irrational. That's... It is vital that you proceed with this plan. A part of Rena's Great Astral Spirit already resides within her. <sighs> Three hundred years ago, the Great Spirit descended upon Lenegus in an attempt to assume direct control of the spirit-channeling ceremony. We have reason to believe the Great Spirit left part of itself behind, and that it now resides in the Maiden. Which would make Alfin's earlier hypothesis correct. That part inside the Maiden belongs to the Core, and can be used by the Great Astral Spirit to revive itself. So long as it remains, it will be all but impossible to fully eradicate the Great Spirit. That is why it is necessary for it to be vanquished only once it is whole. Without the Maiden's direct control over the Great Spirit, attacking it is futile and will only serve to strengthen it. No! Oh. <sighs> Wait. Naori said that the Renis Alma can suppress the self-realization of astral energy and that the thorns could be neutralized by placing them in it. If so, can't the same also be done to the Great Spirit, seeing as the thorns are simply part of it? Well, can it? It is true that the Renis Alma is capable of what you suggest, and could contain the Great Astral Spirit. Yes! However, Doing so requires fine control on the level of the spirit channeling ceremony, considering that the Renis Alma was previously lost when that ceremony failed. I cannot allow it. Its uncertainty is simply too great. What does that mean for us if you won't allow it? Your starship will not be restored, and you will all be unable to leave here. Why you? <sighs> fine then. I'd rather stay here and rot than do it your way. Alfin? Whatever we do, if we mess up, Dan is screwed. The Great Spirit will destroy it. If you're fine letting that happen, and we have nothing to gain either way, then I'd rather do nothing. We want to stop Dana from getting destroyed. We want to save it. But not if it means having to sacrifice one of us in the process. If all you're gonna do is sit back and watch us where it's safe, 
Then quit ordering us around and shut up! Alfin. What you say is irrational. Be that as it may, I shall accede to your demand. You'll agree? I am an observer. The Sovereign, Maiden, and Renes Alma are my species' greatest achievement. I wish to see how well they work against the Great Spirit in light of our demise by its hands. But what are we supposed to do about the Renes Alma? One of your buddies ran off with it back on Lenigus. It is likely that the Renes Alma is with the Great Spirit, functioning as a catalyst for it to receive Dana's astral energy. So our only option to retrieve it is to head straight for the Great Spirit and take it back? According to my observations, the astral energy is most densely concentrated in the center of Rena, where the Great Spirit's core is located. So right in the middle of that giant flower, then. I have one more question. You've said that Rena's great astral spirit is already integrated with the planet. What will happen to Rena once it vanishes? Without the will of the Great Spirit, Rena is predicted to collapse. Even in such a scenario, the energy will disperse, and the Great Spirit will likely not reform. So you're saying that even if we manage to beat the Great Spirit without destroying it, we'll still be in danger? Likely, the collapse will occur in stages. It is recommended that you all escape before the final stage. Man! I wish that thing would tell it to us straight for once. Havrek 35 and the others have gotten used to hypothesizing from afar is all. Fix our starship. We're going to Rena. Excellent. But I want to make one thing clear. We're doing this for ourselves, to protect what matters to us. We're not doing it for your sake, or because you told us to. Remember that. It matters little to me. The end result shall be the same. Repair work on your starship has commenced. 